Hey guys, while we're on the topic of Ferrari, we figure we may as well start out the video by doing a quick little unboxing of our 355 posters that just came in the mail for the JR Garage store. So we're gonna go ahead and sign these real quick. I think they turned out really great. And by the end of this, we should still have some extras. So if you do want one, head over to the JRGarageStore.com and pick one up. Jeffrey, what did we get ourselves into? You guys already know that the Ferrari 355 can be a maintenance nightmare. But nobody ever wants to total up all their receipts. But we have every single receipt here and we have everything to a dime. We're gonna total how much has been spent on this car in the last thousand miles. Let's go. Okay, we both have a fistful of receipts. I guess I'll start. So, just uh, under a thousand miles ago, or uh, a couple years ago, the major the major service was done. As you guys know, every three to five years, this car requires an engine out overhaul major service. There's no avoiding this. You have to do it, and it can range from seven to ten grand, sometimes even more. So in this case, this major and an alternator replacement totaled eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars. Ouch, previous owner did that. Previous owner did a lot of this work, luckily, and that's one thing you really wanna look at when you're buying a Ferrari 355. Get one with good maintenance records done or else you'll have to do them yourself. Shortly after that entire engine out service, the, the previous owner returned with a concern of how the engine was running, and they find valve guide leaks at cylinder number five. So after performing a compression test, they didn't get ideal numbers and they dug into it and that required the engine to come out <laughs> again. This is just like, what, one or two months later? That's crazy. They removed the whole engine once again to rebuild oh, the top end of the engine, get compression on all cylinders once again. And what was the total for that? Uh, page two, $10,337. And that was like a month or two after my bill. How much would that hurt? That's over $20,000 in like 100 miles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is getting really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is the first time we've really like gone through everything specifically. Okay, I have one from just, just recently, still previous owner of four brand new tires all the way around. These are the, what do they call them? These are the, these are like the OEM uh, style uh, Pirellis. So they're Pirelli not zeros. cheap. Installed, uh, fitted on all four corners with $1,600. Ouch. <laughs> Next I show, previous owner did brand new rotors and pads and painted the calipers all the way around on all four corners. So a complete entire brake job totals about $3,000 for that whole brake job. Oh man. Oil change came out to $300. 300 bucks. Uh, the, the clutch required an inspection and an adjustment and then also changed the F1 clutch fluid while they were at it. And that bill comes to $1,543. And also I show here, so sticky buttons. This is, this is kind of maintenance related because it's a thing a lot of people run into. These were pretty nasty and everything's been fully replaced, fully redone professionally. And that range is like $2,000 to $2,500, which is just a huge expense. One big repair that we did, as you guys remember, five miles after we bought this car, oh, it breaks. Typical JR luck. And it ended up being that it needed a full, what, a clutch job and other items. What other stuff was in there? Clutch, flywheel gets resurfaced, and sensors. all the associated gases, F1 sensors, because you know, while you're in there. And that one rang up to a grand total of six thousand seven hundred and forty six dollars and forty nine cents ouch gosh 
So the grand total, considering all these expenses in the last thousand miles, this isn't since day one, this is the last thousand miles. Oh, it's gonna hurt. 37,735 dollars and 64 cents. Gosh, that hurt. Yep, but that means the winner is Starling Reyes. He guessed 36,000. Congrats, you got a hoodie. Direct message us for with your shipping information and we'll send it right out. That's a Ferrari 355 for you and that's every single maintenance item to a dime that we've done. And as you know, there's probably more coming. I mean, I guess we knew this going into it. I, I mean, we were thinking like, ah, oh, how bad could it be, you know? All right. Come on. Thing here and there, nickel and dime, yeah, I get it. It's, a, it's an older Ferrari. But no, just stuff <laughs> breaks. But hey, you know, they say, yeah, it's one of the highest cost of ownership cars out there, but it's also one of the best sounding cars out there. It's one of the best looking oh, Ferraris out there. Yes. It, it definitely one of the best sounding V8s ever produced. Put down your window. <laughs> It's got that going for it. So it's got a lot going for it. It's a piece of art. It's just that special. So it uh, takes a lot to keep it running, but there you go. Whether it's all worth it, you guys make the call. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section down below how big of idiots you think we are for spending all this money on this car. But keep in mind, a lot of that was the previous owner. A lot of it. That's the reason we bought the car, knowing that it was solid. So leave a comment down below on what you think about this maintenance cost and everything about the Ferrari 355. Let us have it. Um, but they're pretty crazy. But anyway, there you go. Who else, what other Ferrari 355 owner has given you to the dime what this car has cost with all these receipts. Good thing we kept them all and just had them all on file. So there you go. I know a lot of you guys were asking for this video. How much does this car maintain? I want to get one. Now, I don't know if you want to get one, but uh, yeah. So you be the judge, make the call for yourself. Yeah, you can make the call. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was fun. That was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. And let us know what other videos you want to see done with the Ferrari 355. Uh, who knows? Now we got two Italian uh, machines in the garage. Oh crap, at least the guy is a little more uh, maintenance friendly. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's always an adventure with our cars and we will see you in the next one. Bye.